Hi everyone, thanks for joining us this morning on Ludicrous Feed. Today I'm going to explain to you how a Tesla Powerwall 2 can work across your home which has three phase power. I personally found this topic very difficult to find on YouTube, there weren't that many videos on it, especially from an Australian perspective, so I thought I'd show you today. Just a quick disclaimer, I'm not an electrician by any means, I'm not a tradesperson, I don't work for Tesla, so I'm going to try to explain to you, this to you from a layperson's point of view, the way I understand it the best. Alright, so in a three phase home, your electricity comes into your house from the grid by three phases. For simplicity's sake, I'm going to use three colours. Yellow. I was going to use white, but the kids used up all the white chalk, so you're stuck with yellow. So phase one is yellow. Phase two is blue. And phase three is red. And I'm going to denote the power wall two in green, like so. The power wall two is only single phase. So it would only cover you on the, sing on the, on the one phase, which uh, I'll use as the yellow phase. So the power wall two sits here. And when you purchase a power wall two, you also get a box called the gateway. Now the gateway essentially acts as the brain of your power supply. It monitors and meters uh, all the electrical usage in your house and tells the power wall two and the solar system and the grid when to discharge and charge. So we're gonna call this circle here, the gateway. I'm gonna call that GW. And this one is the power wall. Okay, so the gateway communicates to the power wall too. Like I said, tells it to discharge, when not to discharge. Now, when the electrician comes to your house to install the power wall too, they will put something called CT clamps, or simply put meters across all three phases so that the gateway knows how much is being used at this time. So I'm just going to extend my three phases across here to make it a bit easier. So there are three phases, and then there are meters across those three phases. So one meter, two meters, and three meters. So I call that M for meter, meter, meter. I'm going to call it meter one, meter two, meter three. On this end here, I'm going to draw your house. And I'm going to draw a little box here called K for kitchen. You'll see why, very shortly, why I called that kitchen. <clears throat> it's very important. So like I said before, the power wall 2 only supplies across one phase because it's a single phase unit. The gateway 2 has meters that tells it how much electricity is being used currently in the house. So. The power wall normally, best practice, is uh, hooked to your essential kitchen appliances, okay? So I'll tell you why in a second. That's where most of the power wall will supply. The rest of the house is supplied by the other two phases, generally speaking. That's usually the best practice. So upstairs, uh, air conditioning, you know, the pool, if you've got a pool pump, um, <clears throat> you know, your computers, your fans, all those kind of things. In a normal situation, uh, so the kitchen will be supplied by the power wall when it discharges. If you want to run your computer, for example, that is on phase number two, what happens is that the power comes from the grid. So just for example, uh, the computer is using, say, one kilowatt. I know it doesn't use that much, but just for simplicity's sake, it's using one kilowatt. So what actually happens is because the power wall actually gives energy only to the single phase to the kitchen, the rest of the house from this phase will draw energy from the grid. This is important. So it comes from the grid, but the power wall, to, the power wall by the gateway uh, hears the energy, will sees the energy coming from the grid. So it will tell the power wall to actually discharge this way. So it will export back to the grid. So this is the grid side one kilowatt. So one kilowatt going in from the grid, one kilowatt exporting back to the grid. That essentially cancels each other out and that nets it off. That happens electrically and also from, billing, from a billing point of view as well. So if the uh, house is drawing one kilowatt at say 30 cents per kilowatt, the power wall exports it back at the same rate. So on your bill you'll see no difference. It won't cost you any more. 
And that's how the power wall gets around, uh, around a three phase system. Same thing for phase number three, of course. If for example, you've got a pool and you're running the pool pump and it's at one kilowatt also, going this way, one kilowatt. And uh, uh, the, pool, the power will also discharge at one kilowatt. It'll actually aggregate all three phases, well, particularly these two phases. So say you've got one kilowatt on this phase, one kilowatt on this phase, this makes it two kilowatt. It'll export this way at two kilowatts while the grid is feeding your house one kilowatt this way, one kilowatt this, this way, which is two kilowatts. So like I said, essentially it nets it off zero from an electrical point of view and also from a billing point of view. I used to think that it fed back at a feed-in tariff, but uh, that's been confirmed by my uh, installer and also from the different forums I've read online that it discharges at the same rate at the current tariff you're paying. So you don't actually get ripped off because it's giving it feed-in tariff, like a solar feed-in tariff rate, which is much lower than the uh, current rate that you're being charged, if that makes sense. So that's how it works in summary. The power wall supplies only one phase. You normally hooked up to your kitchen. I'll explain that in one second. Everything else, the grid actually supplies your house and then the power wall exports the electricity back at the same amount, therefore cancelling what the grid has given you. And, and, and on your Power Wall 2 app, when you, when you do buy one of these, you'll see that um, it's a net effect from the grid, essentially net, so that's what net means. Uh, and it, it meters it using clamps across all three phases, so like I said, this is the brain of your Power Wall system. It'll explain to the Power Wall what to do all the time. It's all in real time, all happens very quickly. Now I'm going to explain to you why the kitchen's hooked up to the power wall. So the power wall, the second function of power wall, apart from supplying energy to your house um, from solar, so I'll put solar here. So the solar charges the power wall, power wall supplies to the house. The second important function is that it is basically a backup generator for your house. So in the event of a blackout, it will only supply in one phase, okay? So these two phases just will not work in a blackout. Therefore, it is important to put all your essential circuits, for example, your kitchen, uh, your fridge, your microwave, uh, basically anything in the kitchen or downstairs area, I think personally, if you have a double story house, uh, all those circuits should belong to that single phase power wall. Therefore, in a blackout, you still get energy to the important you know, cooking, you know, things you need to live basically um, in the kitchen. Uh, of course, you can always put your home Wi-Fi in a blackout situation to the downstairs circuit or the circuit near the kitchen. Therefore, you're covered from that point of view. So like I said, in the blackout, these two phases are not going to work. You will only get energy from the power wall and the app will show accordingly as well. You'll show a big X across your grid and you'll only see the power wall discharging to the kitchen. So that's essentially it. Um, it makes sense to me. I hope it makes sense to you as well now that I have... Um, done a bit of research and worked out what the power wall actually does in the three-phase home, which is what I've got. If you're an electrician out there or you've got a bit more experience with installing power walls, um, please verify what I've said or if it, uh, it doesn't make sense, leave a comment and I'll do a follow-up video with your feedback. Uh, I don't mind feedback at all, good or bad. So uh, that's basically it, summary of how the power wall 2 works across three phases of a home. Thanks for watching. Love that you're watching, we're up to 48 subscribers, almost 50, and um, have a great day wherever you are, and thanks, thank you always for watching, and as always, happy charging. Hey, thanks for watching, and thank you for helping us to bring the electric vehicle revolution to Australia. If you've enjoyed our videos, please take a moment to hit subscribe, we would really appreciate it. If you're close to buying a brand new Tesla, then lucky you. Use one of our promo codes on screen to unlock special goodies from Tesla. Happy charging!